the terminal angles, reference angles, and the unit circle. To find the coterminal angles, you are giving a number, and to find the coterminal angles, you either subtract 360 or add 360. So for example, if you add 360 to 125, you'll get 1,185, and then you add 360 to this number and get this number, and so on. Or you could subtract from 825 to 60, and then you get 465, and then from 465 you subtract again with 360 and get this, and so on. And another topic is the reference angles. And you are giving a certain coterminal angle, but the coterminal angle always has to be between 0 and 360. So if it's more than 360, you subtract 316, that would be the coterminal angle. And when you have the coterminal angle, you graph it. You graph it. And then since it's in this quadrant, you subtract from you subtract it with 360. So you subtract 360 and 315 and you get the reference angle of 45. And usually all of reference angles have to be either 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. And another topic would be the unit circle, which is based on cosine and sine. And cosine is, will always be on this side, on the x-axis. So cosine in quadrant 1 will be positive, cosine in quadrant 2 will be negative, cosine in quadrant 3 will be negative, and cosine in quadrant 4 will be positive. And then the sine in quadrant 1 will be positive, the sine quadrant 2 will be positive and quadrant 3 will be negative and the sine quadrant 4 will be negative. Okay. Oh, no. Quadrant 4 is 